Hi, I'm Mike. Today on the project list, we're working with the yearling cows, sorting the boys from the girls, so our young heifers can get their bangs vaccination. We'll give you the how and the why, all coming up on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome to Our Wyoming Life, where we bring you into the fold of a working Wyoming ranch. Please subscribe and join us as we explore the ranch life together and escape the ordinary three times per week right here on YouTube. Behind me is the project list. It's a list that's ever growing of things that need done around here. Today, we're gonna totally ignore it and work with our yearling cows. We have steers and heifers together right now and we need to sort them off because the heifers need their bangs vaccination. We only have six heifers to vaccinate, and we'll be taking them to town for the vet to do the vaccination next week. But with everything else going on around here, we need to get them sorted off and ready to go today. Mostly because we don't know when the vet's gonna be able to get to them, and we're kind of on a will call status with them. Also today, we get to try out a brand new camera that we've just received. It's a body cam type deal, and we'll see how it performs as we head out and get to work. Today starts much like any other. The ranch is nothing if not repetitive. We let the chickens out every morning, and this time of year, we check the cows pretty regularly. This is calving season, and calves are being born every single day on the ranch. For us, that means the project list can sometimes be pushed to the back burner, as every birth on the ranch is important, and we like to be there for each one, making sure moms and calves are healthy and safe. After checking the cows, and there's no new cows this morning, we can feed them as they're waiting and hungry. After feeding, we're gonna bring an extra bale back with us that we're gonna use as bait for the yearlings to bring them into the corral. Which they fall for hook, line, and sinker. There are 13 yearlings in here, a mix of heifers and steers. The heifers belong to the kids. Each year we give the kids a new heifer to add to their herd. Each one will have a five head herd by the time they complete it. And last year we rounded out all three of the kids' herds. The sale of the calves from their herd go into their own bank account every year, adding to their account to be used for college or whatever they end up doing in life. The steers that are in here as well will be kept back by Aaron and me, and we'll finish them. And eventually they'll be sold as beef to our customers. And after locking these guys into the corral, we can get to sorting. First though, we attach the new body camera and we're gonna put up the drone in the air to give us that bird's eye view. Flying the drone in this corral is a little treacherous as there are overhead power lines crisscrossing the corral. In addition to that, a light rain has started and the wind is picking up, so this might be fun. These yearlings have not been worked with much and getting them where I want them is a little bit tricky. First, we luck out and a couple of heifers sort themselves off into a smaller corral. These two can be moved into the horse corral to wait for their friends. Then it's round and round until we get the rest into the sorting pen as well. After moving the drone for a better view, I can start sorting these kids off, pushing the heifers one way and the steers the other. It's a slow process as we have to handle each one one at a time, moving them one way or the other. The heifers are being sorted off in preparation for their bangs vaccination. Bangs disease is a term that was given to cattle brucelliosis. It was discovered by a Danish veterinarian in 1897, and his last name 
was bangs. Thankfully, cattle brucelliosis has been nearly eradicated from the United States because of required test and slaughter practices and the use of bangs vaccines on heifers. Brucelliosis is a contagious disease that causes pregnancy loss and reproductive failure in cows. The same disease can make people sick and a vaccine was developed in the 1940s. Nowadays, the disease has been eradicated except in areas surrounding Yellowstone National Park, where wildlife remains a reservoir for the disease. Bangs vaccinations also give heifers a USDA official ID. They will be tattooed designating the year they received the vaccine, and they'll also get an official metal ear tag with an identification number. The chance of our herd encountering brucelliosis is super slim, but protection, at least in this area, is not a bad idea. A bad idea might have been deciding to fly the drone in this weather. As we finish up sorting the yearlings, all heck breaks loose when a large gust of wind blows through. The drone shoots up in the air, and as I run to grab the remote and get it back under control, another gust blows it over the barn and out of sight. At this point, I realize that I'm in trouble. I can't see it, and it's heading straight towards the highway and power lines that run alongside it. My best bet is to get it on the ground and land it blind, setting it down a little rough. I have no idea where it landed. I can see the video feed on the remote, but as it turns out, it landed right on the shoulder of the highway, just feet from getting run over. With my heart still racing from that experience, at least we have the cattle sorted and steers can now head out of the corral. The heifers, however, will stay in the corral for now, or at least until the vet can give them their inspections and vaccinations. And the last thing we're gonna do is attach these things back on with the plumber strap. As you can imagine, the last thing that I want to happen is the drone to fly into traffic and smack somebody's car, or at least maybe the drone get run over, but man, my heart is still thumping. All right, we're done for the day. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook. Sunday's a new ranch video, so until I see you again, thanks for hanging out with us in our Wyoming life.